Hello and welcome to another video from Project Cars. You see, I nearly said a set of Corsa then. <laughs> yes, this is Project Cars and this is the Alpha. And I'm actually going to be commenting over this from videos I recorded from the Alpha uh, of this game. Oh, oh, let me think. At least a couple of months ago. At least. Probably even longer. Uh, so we're going to be taking this Audi out. The 98 Turbo Renault Turbo. And it looks fast before we even get in the damn thing. So <laughs> let's get in. And you can laugh at me because I'm playing with a 360 pad and it ain't easy because it's super sensitive. Um, we're going to be racing at Hockenheim Ring in Germany, as you can see up at the top left. So let's get in. We're going to be using the helmet cam and let's kick some ass. Now, as I don't really know this track that well, or this car, ooh, I can tell you the car feels heavy compared to the uh, couple of other ones that I've raced in. I might take it quite slow at first. I really, as I said, you've got to learn the car, you've got to learn how it handles, does it weeble wobble, although these are all pretty much state of the art cars, aren't they? Whoa, a bit of banter going on there. Watch it, knobhead. It's got to be the helmet cam again. Um, one thing you may notice is that even between the normal in-car view without the helmet cam the audio is different and as I've said in the other video if you've actually watched it the audio in this game wow it really is fucking ah, it's almost up there with the visuals again I don't really need to tell you how good the visuals are do I unless you're a complete dumbass this is running pretty much everything up to the max on this Almost, not quite, uh, because it is alpha, they're still optimising this. But I'm getting around 45, 50 frames a second. Only when I put on the full weather, I mean, it's absolutely pissing it down, does it drop by about 5 frames. But uh, even the audio of you know, vehicles hitting each other and the vehicles bottoming out and things like that, are absolutely brilliant to say it's only an alpha as well. see I'm not really taking the racing line that well on here because I'm so struggling with the vehicle trying to learn it um, the bonnet even the bonnet bounces as you're uh, as you're giving it some more backing off nice little touches in this game and there is full impact damage as well unlike a set of Corsa now the reason I crashed there was my own fault I didn't get rammed as I came around that corner because this is like a super the horsepower on this vehicle is, is, is quite beefy. I put too much down and I could actually feel the car slipping. Um, I lost control of the back and as I put the power back on again I spun out. So it was my own fault. So if you if I mentioned in the other video, if you haven't watched it, this is a sim. This is not on the arcade side whatsoever. Um, and there's a lot of tinkering with the hood you can do to the vehicles, aka Forza and all the other ones. But uh, so far the physics, the handling, the audio and the graphics, this is definitely a winner for me. Um, I would expect the reviews when this comes out to be, well, they've got to be up in the, in the high 90s. Um, to say this was a Kickstarter game, game as well, flipping it, the future of this game is looking very bright indeed. This is actually against the AI, and the AI are a mix of aggressive and good racers, but occasionally you do get rammed up the ass. but then again, I've done that to the AI as well, so uh, it's probably modelled on um, quite realistic. I really do hope that when this game goes live, the community, the PC community, you can find yourself a really good server where people are going to drive clean, you know, if you do it, somebody it's an accident, that's, that's one thing. 
but just being able to drive clean and race proper this game is going to be way up there the, the immersion factor it's already supported with the dk2 so if you've got one of them oh my god you're in you're in racing heaven and it supports track ir which i'm gonna have to set up i've got my wheel arriving this week so this is definitely a game for a wheel as i said it's super sensitive with the 360 pad as you can see i'm just having a quick look around here um i do like that depth of field effect as well um yeah it is very sensitive um a quick shifter or um a steering wheel is really you're really going to get a lot more um enjoyment out of this game if you can get yourself spend a few quid get a g27 or, or something even better definitely the way to go for this definitely Regarding the actual graphics of the cars, we know they're superb, the texture's really nice. The actual tracks, again, I've got absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Um, I mean, mo most of the time, you're not really going to notice them, but you can see there are thousands of um, spectators in there. And they may be cheering, I don't... <laughs> the vehicles are that loud and deafening. Um, they may be cheering when you go past, uh, they may be booing and throwing bog rolls at me because I'm absolute noob later and I've just caused another fucking pile up, Jesus Christ, race over. Um, but anyway, this has been another video, absolutely loving it, get in there, get on the Alpha, definitely this is a pre-purchase for me, I, I'm in loving this more than a set of Corsa. So uh, I'll let you have a look at some of the replay now, but in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you want more. I can't wait to get on the track and play some more, and that's always the sign of a good game. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. This has been Para Players Project Cars. What a fucking idiot.